Yeah. Now, Carlson, this is just a, another game for us well, it's not just another game. It's certainly added importance. I think the buzz around um, the city, the buzz around college basketball, uh, how well the two programs have, have done lately. Uh, this is a big game, and it's one that we always circle uh, first on our, on our schedule. So it's very exciting to be a part of. And, you know, more than anything, we're thrilled that we have an arch rival, that we have a rival in the city, because it just brings out the best. It tests you. and. Uh, gives you an, uh, enables you the opportunity to play in front of a great atmosphere with uh, you know fans pulling for both teams. And also with this game on national television, kind of picks up a little bit more. Yeah, it does. I think it's great that it's on national TV. I think that all of us in Richmond know how special the rivalry is and recognize how good the programs are. Uh, but for for the national audience to get to see, I think is, is a great thing for both teams. Well, just that it's going to be it's going to be loud. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, I think it's a passionate fan base, and uh, but that that makes the games better. I think that's why that's why you come to college basketball. You know, come to play college basketball to, to be able to test yourself and uh, against great teams and great atmospheres. Well, I hope so. I hope so. I, I think that um, you know, a home court advantage is significant, especially at the Siegel Center. I'm sure it'll be a great crowd. Uh, but we we have done well on the road, and part of that I think is mainly just trying to stick to who we are and stick to the game plan and not trying to get too high or too low. So uh, that'll be a challenge on, on Friday night, no doubt. Um, but I, I think that'll be what, how we how we try to approach it. There's so much turnover on both teams. I mean, can you even look at the game tape from last year? No, I mean, the game tape from last year, um, we glanced at it and, you know, we kind of came away with that Kevin Anderson's a great player and Justin Harvard's a great player and um, Jamie Skeen's a great player and Brad. But, you know, there's so many guys who have changed and uh, it doesn't necessarily make any, any difference to, to, to either team, I don't think. Um, maybe just a couple of things on strategy, but uh, I think that game was... You know, it is in the past. Bill Anthony certainly looks like he's going to be a great player. He's not a great player now. No. Talk about it. Did you think that he was going to be have this kind of impact this early? Well, we, we knew we had a good player, and, and we thought that he would have an opportunity to play right away. But uh, I don't think anybody, even even Kendall, uh, would have thought that he could have this type of impact so early in his career. You know, to come in and. and you know, in your eighth college game, have 21 at Wake and be averaging 15 points per game through eight games. That, that, that just rarely happens for a freshman. So uh, I think it's really, really impressive what he's done, but I wouldn't have said that anybody could have predicted it. You think that because of what he brings, he's going to be uh, important to sort of break this press that VCU has? Oh, no question. You know, I, I, against VCU, you know, it's relentless pressure, and we're going to need to make sure that uh, all of our players play well, but especially our guards. This is, you know, there's a, there's a lot of responsibility on them, more than usual even, and you're just making sure not only that you break the press, but you, you do it with a certain bit of calmness and you can still play your game. Uh, and so all, all of that responsibility falls on the guards. How has Anthony been able to make the transition look so smooth from high school college? Well, that's a great question. Uh, well, he, I think he was extremely well prepared coming in, in, in terms of his conditioning, He's confident. Uh, he's very, very competitive player, and I think when when those are your, your most important characteristics, uh, it helps because it gets away from the um, you know doubting yourself or concern. I think his confidence and his competitiveness uh, and his conditioning have helped him to just move right on into college basketball and not hit that early uh, roadblock that, that almost every freshman hits.